Hello friends, welcome back to V Student Block. Uh, in this VMware Horizon uh, series, uh, we'll be uh, we are working on uh, VMware app volumes, and we are using 4.4.4. And uh, in this video, we'll be creating an application and a package uh, on uh, app volumes. So let's go to a lab. So this is our uh, VMware app volumes manager server. So we not yet created any packages till now, uh, any applications too, and uh, this is our uh, this is our uh, uh, connection server, and this is our floating pool where uh, uh, like we'll be attaching once the package is created. So uh, like uh, we already installed the agent on the on the base server, base OS uh, base OS uh, base virtual machine, and uh, it's ready. So let's go to our uh, um, VMware App Volumes Manager and uh, just create an application and package. So I will give it as a Firefox. So description I will leave it and uh, owner is VDI admin and uh, I will also creating package at a time. Just click on create. Uh, create it and go to package. Package name I will give it as uh, Firefox. So I will give the same name or you can give anything browser and base package is create new package data store is the data store one uh, which is the only one I have and uh, stage is uh, new so if you have multiple test published or retired so we have uh, this is a new one so just click on create and uh, just select the perform in the background and click create so now the package is creating so, so if you see here, the package state is uh, unpacked. Uh, so, when you click on package, so it will ask for uh, the VM. So we'll be using the packaging VM. That is package VM. So we can try it. It's available, so we need to try it click on package so it will start packaging the uh, so if you attaching package to the computer so it will create a VMDK and it will assign it to it and when you see it the status is packaging so we will go to our packaging server and uh, if you see here it's showing that uh, a, a pop-up from uh, app volumes packaging is in progress please install the package click ok after installing the application so don't click ok if you click it ok then it, it, it take it is as a completed installation is completed and it will reboot the server so don't do it till the entire package is installed completely okay so what I done is like uh, I don't want to put the installer on my packaging VM so I just put it on a share folder and uh, I will run it from here or run as administrator click run so it is getting installed now we can close this one So as a it's a small application it won't take much time just two to three minutes so Firefox browser is installing but it won't install on C drive or any uh, persistent drives it will be installed on the drive which is uh, uh, assigned like it which is uh, created by app volume temporarily so now it is installed I will just close it so my packet my Firefox is completely installed and it's ready to use so when I click OK it will ask one more question that installation is completed if it is completed click yes or else no it's completed so I'm clicking yes so now it will say that uh, uh, okay Mozilla Firefox name version all stuff just click finalize so what it will do is it will add uh, it will unmount the VMDK uh, uh, attach if you, you are able to see that the Firefox is gone now so once we click OK it will reboot the VM so 
so we need to wait till the VM come up and we will be seeing one more uh, one more uh, uh, message so we need to wait for it we need to click OK then only we have to roll back the snapshot uh, so make sure everything is completely cleaned up once uh, the VM is rebooted and it's up so just it will take one more one, uh, one like just take one or two minutes we'll wait and uh, once this is up we will log in still VM is coming up so let's wait I will pass the video I don't want to waste the time so VS, VM is up now I will log in again see now it says that please uh, revert your virtual machine to the last known good configuration before packaging a new application so now it is completely done so we are good now so everything got cleaned up just we will turn off this VM shut down this VM it's down now so we'll go to our vCenter make sure that that is completely powered off so even though it is not powered off we can restore the snapshot it's not a big deal so it is off so I will revert back the snapshot yes so it is done so now we'll go to our uh, VMware app volumes and we go to applications Firefox so here package is created and uh, it's not set as current so let's do is so just set this as current once that is done we'll go to application and we'll assign it to the users click on assign and uh, you can give domain users search so domain users okay it's available just click on it and assign it click assign so whoever the user, domain users uh, uh, they will be uh, they should get this one so this is done so what we'll do is now we'll go to our our CS server so I'm going to enable the provision so that users uh, VMs will be provisioned and available for the users if you go to the vCenter now VM is getting created One, 102 is getting created so let's wait till it's power down and it's online and then we'll log in as a user one which is a domain user so meanwhile I will log into the console user 1 
okay icon is ready that is uh, that means we have uh, assigned the floating pool to this user okay let's see what's the status okay it's ready so let's try to access it okay still it's completely not loaded I believe currently has no desktop services okay now it is loading so when we log in actually uh, Firefox was not installed so when we logged into the VM uh, like we should be able to see Firefox uh, uh, like loaded on the top of the VM uh, which is not actually installed on a C drive or which is not at all installed on the VM so if our our lab is successful then we should be able to see the Firefox uh, available on our VM so let's wait for two more minutes and see whether Firefox is available or not it's taking some time let me pause the video okay our lab is successful because we are able to see Firefox here it's installed it's not installed actually it's 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 uh, it's a layer on the on the VM attached as VMDK and uh, it is uh, available now and we are able to open the Firefox too so our lab is successful so even if you go to control panel and see it's my desktop So like this we can uh, we can provision uh, uh, any application uh, which is uh, supported by AMP volumes and you are able to see that uh, uh, Mozilla Firefox is uh, available here. Once you log in, uh, log off, uh, obviously uh, the Firefox will go away. So that's all for this video and even before we wind up uh, we can see some other things in here uh, we can discuss on this so this is the dashboard if you click on this uh, you can see the license utilization see you are able to see two license out of 50,000 uh, terminal users license not at used the desktop license server license not at used so utilization uh, charts uh, where we can see uh, how, how many users how many computers how many packages everything and most use most recent user login details everything packages what all attached all we can see it here and uh, if you see the license uh, information everything is available we are already discussed about these things and this is the activity like uh, uh, a pending act we can see what's happening whenever like uh, when a package is getting uh, mm, yeah, like when a package is getting created uh, what is the background ha thing happening you can check here where we can see any errors or status here jobs he, uh, jobs like any related jobs if you see here we can see a couple of things available here and activity log where you can see what's going on like everything you can uh, uh, look at the logs system messages uh, even server logs if you see here something is showing has failed uh, so this was at uh, 10 20 that is half an hour back uh, initially when I am trying to configure it maybe uh, something got failed initially and that that was reported here so server logs like related to server we can see here troubleshooting anything related to uh, uh, troubleshooting archives we can see it here so yeah uh, that's all for this video 
uh, I believe this video is uh, informative for you guys and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe and like my videos and any queries and suggestions please reach out to me on bstudentblog at the rate gmail.com thank you bye bye